Hello, Uncle Dave here with uh, another Karma Flights computer video. And in this one, we're going to talk about the graphics tools available to us on the graphics tab right here. So we have an image editor called GIMP and a couple of other tools which we'll talk about in a minute. Let's take a look at GIMP. GIMP is used to change things or to make new tools and make new, uh, excuse me, new images. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open an existing image. And we're going to take this one, which is inside of Dave and inside of Fly and inside of Other. And that's it, that one right there. So we're going to open that guy up. And we're going to add some text to him. He looks pretty happy here. So we're going to say, Happy Dave. So we're going to take this, and we're going to take and add text. And so we're going to put the new text, uh, how about right here? And instead of making it, oops, can't see it. Let's not do it there. Let's put it right here. There we go. And instead of making it 18, we're going to make it much bigger. We're going to make it, uh, let's make it 72. And instead of that, let's make it yellow. And then let's go ahead and type in here, um, Happy Uncle Dave. And now we're going to save it as the same kind of file that it is, which is a JPEG file. So I can't just save it as a JPEG file. I have to export it because, yes, look, it says it's going to allow me to overwrite that. I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of that one. I always want to make a new one called 16A. So I'm going to export it. And I'm going to export it as 16A. And then I'm going to export it as a JPEG because the other one was. So I go ahead and I select the JPEG image type that I want. And so I have to just look down here until I find the JPEG. And uh, there it is right there. So that's the kind of file that I want. And I want to call it 16A. And then I just go ahead and say export it. And there it is. So now when I close this out, close out this image, I don't have to save it because I just exported it. So... We can just say discard changes, and we don't need to open another image or start another one, so we'll close GIMP. And now we'll use the next tool in our graphics to go ahead and take a look at that new image. Notice that it opened up that folder automatically since I was there last. It gives us access to all of our images. So the last one that we just made was 16A. Let's go ahead and let's see. Look, it says organize. <coughs> yeah. A diversion. All right. So let's take a look at the new one. There it is. There it is. So we've taken one and we've modified it. We obviously could throw the other one in, away and rename this one to 16 rather than 16A. All right, the last tool that's available to us is inside of the graphics is a simple scan. And when you use this, all you do is go to your printer and place whatever document you want to copy on top of the plate, close the door, come over here, and hit scan, 
and it will go ahead and it will try to scan and uh, anyway it's trying to talk to my printer right now and we're not going to do it so that's it that's the tools that are in the graphics and uh, the next video will be about the internet so that'll be fun take care